Now, also, a lot of Australians will know about the RSPCA, a very well-established and respected not-for-profit organisation, but probably few will know it's also evolving as a social business. We caught up on social business with the CEO of the RSPCA, Heather O'Neill, about the quest to find new ways of raising revenue. So the approved farming scheme is the RSPCA's way to really fix a problem which is the intensive production of animals. So what we do, we've developed higher welfare standards and we invite farmers to actually meet those standards. And if they do, they have the, the ability to use our logo uh, and our endorsement on their products. Why is this a new approach for the RSPCA in terms of your business? I think most people really associate the RSPCA with dogs and cats and, and the really good work that we do with, with animal shelters. Uh, in reality, the RSPCA has actually been working with farm animals really since our inception in the 1870s in Australia. And so this is really, I suppose, the new part of this approach is um, taking it into a very commercial environment and, and our, our work of encouraging farmers to improve their practices. And we really encourage Australian farmers are, are moving that way with us. Tell us how you're taking into that commercial environment. What are you actually doing then? So what we're doing is um, we have a, a very professional marketing um, a, approach that started rolling out earlier this year, um, which is really targeting a lot of food magazines and supermarkets. And we're asking consumers, uh, how do you like yours? And what we're hoping they're actually going to say in response to that question is they like it higher welfare. And um, we're asking consumers to actually look for products in the supermarket or in, in their um, specialist uh, butcher that have the RSPCA logo. You're hoping to get a response from the consumer. What are you finding in terms of the trends of their buying habits so far? We really encouraged. Australian consumers are really interested in high welfare foods. Some research we did last year showed that uh, two in three Australians are, are really interested in making a higher welfare choice. So uh, we know people are interested. Uh, there's an increasing range of products coming onto the shelf. So we have eggs, we have uh, pork, we have chicken and turkey coming very soon. So we know those consumers who are interested in higher welfare and mostly those who are supportive of the RSPCA too. There is a, a, a good uh, link between those two. They can look for, for products with the pour of approval on it and, um, and, and make a higher welfare choice. Tell us the kind of partnerships you've now developed with some of the big supermarkets as well. Obviously to actually make a wholesale change to Australian production systems, we actually need to work with, with large producers and we need to work with our major retailers. And we've been really encouraged that, that all of the retailers in Australia, but particularly the, the major two, uh, have RSPCA approved products on their shelves uh, today and, and will continue to expand their range in, in the coming months. And why would farmers actually get involved in it? What's in it for them? Well, I think that Australian farmers, you know, they genuinely care about their animals and um, they, they, those who are actually going above what they have to legally need to be recognised for doing that and um, this is a great opportunity for Australian farmers to, to actually differentiate themselves in a, in a market where consumers are increasingly interested in how their food's produced and uh, the, way it, the way it's produced and where it's come from. This is a, a really good way to actually help get that recognition for them. Uh, how do they get accredited? We certainly have a very rigorous uh, scheme to join the RSPC proof uh, farming scheme we actually uh, certainly we go on farm each and every farm and uh, we have a, a, a checking system against our standards all of that information is available on our website and so we check against the standards we check on farm and then we um, also sort of make sure that the traceability systems so consumers don't need to be concerned that if they see a product with an RSPCA logo it is what it says it is because we've actually been on the farm to check.